tonight the first night of Hanukkah? Herschel asked the villagers. Oh, we well, don't have Hanukkah, Herschel, one of them answered sadly. No Hanukkah, how can that be? It's because of the goblins. They haunt the old synagogue at the top of the hill. They hate Hanukkah. Whenever we try to light a menorah, the goblins blow out the candles. They break our dreidels. They throw our potato like us on the floor. Those wicked goblins make our lives miserable all year long, but on Hanukkah, it's really bad. Herschel knew he must help the village people. I'm not afraid of goblins, he said. Tell me how to get rid of them. Oh, it's not as easy as you think, the rabbi warned. You must spend eight nights in the old synagogue. The Hanukkah candles must be lit each night. On the eighth night, the king of the goblins must light them himself. That is the only way to break their power. I'm not afraid, Rabbi, Herschel said. If I can't outwit a few goblins, then my name is <coughs> Herschel of Ostropol. The villagers wished Herschel good luck. They had no potato like this to give him, so they packed several hard-boiled eggs for him to eat, along with a big jar of pickles. The rabbi gave Herschel a brass menorah, a package of candles, and a box of matches. Then the villagers said goodbye. Nobody expected to see Herschel again. It was long past sundown by the time Herschel climbed to the top of the hill where the old synagogue stood. The crumbling buildings gloomy and dark and rusty hinges squealed. Herschel opened the door. Herschel shuddered. Well could he believe the goblins lived here. He put two candles in the menorah and set it on the windowsill. He struck a match and lit the shamas candle. He said the blessings and was about to light the other candle when he heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? Herschel turned around. Here was a goblin no bigger than a horsefly with a long pointy tail and two little bat's wings hovering in the air. I'm lighting Hanukkah candles, Herschel said. Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. We don't allow Hanukkah, not around here. Oh, is that so, said Herschel. And who's going to stop me, a little pipsqueak like you? I may be little, but I'm strong, said the goblin. Oh, really? Can you crush rocks in your hand, asked Herschel. The goblin laughed. Crush rocks? You're joking. Nobody's that strong. Oh, I watch. Herschel took a hard-boiled egg from his pocket and squeezed it until the yolk and the white ran through his fingers. That's how hard I'm going to squeeze you if you try to stop me from lighting these candles. The little goblin's eyes opened <coughs> wide, since in the dim light the egg looked exactly like a rock. The little okay. goblin shook with fear. Y you leave me alone, he squeaked. This is mine. Gladly, said Herschel, if you let me light my candles in peace. All right, said the goblin. One night will make a difference. We better not be here tomorrow. Big, scary goblins are coming, much bigger than I. And if they catch you lighting Hanukkah candles, you'll be sorry. <laughs> we'll see about that, Herschel said to himself. And he lit <laughs> the first candle. On the second night, another goblin appeared. This one was big and fat and waddled like a goose. Herschel was finishing his dinner of pickles and hard-boiled eggs. Have some pickles, he said to the goblin. Pickles? Here, catch. Herschel tossed him a sour pickle. The goblin caught it in his mouth and swallowed it. Mmm, pickles are good. Oh, do you like them? I have plenty in this jar. Take all you want. The greedy goblin grabbed as many pickles as his claws could hold, but when he tried to pull his fist out of the jar, he couldn't. I'm stuck, the goblin shouted. You put a spell on this jar to hold me fast. That's right, Herschel said, laughing, and it's a very powerful spell. You came here tonight to stop me from lighting Hanukkah candles. So now, I am going to light them while you stand with your hand in that jar and watch. How do you like that? No, no, the goblin screamed. I hate Hanukkah. Too bad. You'll have to get used to it, Herschel said. Then he said the blessings and lit the candles. Slowly. Then he sang all his favorite Hanukkah songs. The goblin wailed and carried on so much that Herschel finally decided to let him go. Should I tell you how to break the spell? <coughs> yes, yes, I can't stand it anymore. Let go of the pickles. Your greed is the only spell holding you prisoner. The goblin let go of the pickles. His hand slipped out of the jar easily. Oh, how that goblin raged. 
He had stood with his hand in a pickle jar while Herschel lit Hanukkah candles right under his nose. The furious goblin stamped his foot so hard that he shattered into a million pieces, and the wind blew them away. The third night came. Herschel felt something watching him as he set the candles in the menorah. Instead of lighting them, he began playing with the dreidel. An hour passed. <coughs> Herschel looked up. Sitting across the table was another goblin. This one had a fiery red face and two enormous horns. Getting light, the goblin said. When are you going to light the candles? Later. There's plenty of time. Herschel spun his dreidel. This is more fun. What are you playing with? The goblin asked. It looks like a top. It's a dreidel. Don't you know about dreidels? No. Too bad. Dreidels are lots of fun. You can also make lots of money if you know how to use them, how to play. Really? The goblin was interested now. All goblins like money. And this one was no exception. How do you play? It's very simple, Herschel said. But you must have gold. That's the first rule. I have plenty. Is this enough? The goblin poured a pile of gold coins onto the table. Oh, that's fine, Herschel said. Now, listen carefully. This letter is shin. If it comes up, you give me a handful of gold. This letter is hay. If it comes up, you give me half your gold. This is gimel. If the dreidel falls on this letter, you give me all your gold. Understand? Um, wait. There's one letter left. What about this one? Ah, that's nun. If the dreidel falls on nun, I don't give you anything. And the party of the first part. Ready? Let's play. You go first. The goblin spun the dreidel. The little top whirled round and round. When it fell, the letter on top was shin. Ah, too bad, Herschel said, taking a big handful of the goblin's gold. Try again. Maybe you'll have better luck. The goblin spun the dreidel once more. This time it fell on hay. Ah, this isn't your night, Herschel said, helping himself to half the goblin's gold. One more time, your luck is bound to improve. Once again, the goblin spun. This time, the dreidel landed on gimel. Oh, too bad, Herschel sighed as he took the rest of the goblin's gold. Would you like me to spin? Yes, the goblin grumbled. He was very unhappy about losing his money. Herschel spun the drape. This time, the letter Nun was on top. Oh, my. I don't give you anything. I get to keep all the gold. Say, that was fun. Get some more gold, and we'll play again. <laughs> um, what about the Hanukkah candles? Eh, we'll light them later. There's plenty of time. Oh, not for me, the goblin said. I'm leaving now. I don't like this game. I don't like Hanukkah, and I don't like you. Oh, don't go, Herschel pleaded. I know lots of games. Stay a while. We'll have fun. Good bye. The goblin spread his wings, swooped out the door, and flew off into the night. Herschel lit the candles all by himself. On the following nights, other goblins came. One had six heads. One had three eyes. All were terrible and fierce. They growled and roared and changed themselves into horrible shapes. They tried to stop Herschel from lighting the Hanukkah candles but Herschel fooled them all. Finally, the seventh night arrived. Eight tiny candles flickered on the windowsill. Herschel sat back to enjoy their light. Where were the goblins? Had they finally given up? Herschel felt very sleepy. His eyes closed. Suddenly, he sat up. He heard a horrible sound, a, a voice that sounded like the cracking of bones. Happy Hanukkah. Herschel of Ostropol. Who is it? Who's there? Don't you know who I am, Herschel? Weren't you expecting the king of the goblins? The voice rose to a hurricane roar. It ripped the shingles from the synagogue roof and shattered the windows. The Hanukkah candles <coughs> reeled in the savage blast, but they did not go out. You're too early, Herschel shrieked. You're not supposed to come until tomorrow. The great wind died down. Don't worry, Herschel. I am far away, but I have the power to see you and speak to you. Enjoy this Hanukkah evening, my friend. It will be your last. Tomorrow night, I will come for you. You fooled my slaves, the other goblins. Let's see if you can fool me.
My pretty. Poor Herschel. <laughs>